So I saw this video. And it was amazing. I wanted my own thingy or whatever that was that produced that sound. I tracked down the website and seeing these devices are sold out, I thought if I could make my own out of spare guitar pickup that I have lying around. Way these devices work is that they react to electromagnetic fields. Guitar pickups are also sensitive to EMF. You could just wire a single coil pickup to an XLR and be done with it. But I wanted to maximize the interference signal, so I got the idea to basically reverse the humbugger. I actually <laughs> draw something for you. I know this looks stupid and like two-year-old kid tried to do some art. So basically what you have here, these are the two microphones or pickups you have in one humbucker. So they are located, you have to think it like, like this. This is the lower part and this is the upper part. Hence why it says north and south. So the way this works is that the hum coming from the outside world is in phase. This, this pick up the noise in phase. And then the actual guitar signal, you know, you plug a string, it comes inside the pickup out of phase. So the other one sees it this way and the other one sees it that way. But since we don't wire the finish to the start, but we actually fire the finish to another finish. So basically you can imagine a lead going here. This way we flip this pickup again, even though they are already flipped by having coiled one the other way and one the other way. So what happens is these signals that come, come in phase to the actual humbucker gets reversed and this reverse signal, which is actually the guitar string vibrating, gets in phase. So this flip and this flip. And because this flip, they are out of phase and these are in phase. But that's not what we want to do. We want to have the situation which we have here. We want the noise to be in phase and everything else can be out of phase because we want to maximize the noise. So instead of going from finish to finish like the typical humbugger would do, we actually are going to wire the north finish to south start. So instead of going this way, we go that way. And then we connect these wires to an XLR plug. So then we can plug this one into our mix pre or any recording device you have with mic inputs. Because trust me, it needs gain. So I have here a Jackson pickup, which has been taken from entry level Jackson guitar. The pickup is not good in itself, but I think that just benefits us because the more interference, the better. So here we have four wires and these colors are not universal. So they differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. So be sure to check out what is South Start and South Finish and you know so on. For Jackson pickups, I have to solder black and white wire together because the white is the finish for the north and black is the start of the south. And then we are gonna solder these two red and green to the XLR connector. We are not gonna solder the shield to anywhere because we want to maximize the noise. Normally you would solder the shield to one and these to two and three, but because we don't want the balanced qualities of the connector, 
we're gonna solder instead this one to the one and this to the two. So now you are going to try to fit a connector to its housing and you want to keep this from touching anything. Shrink tube would be perfect for this but I don't have one lying around so I'm just gonna use electrical tape. You also want to trim the shielding down so it doesn't touch anything else and short something out. Connect it only the connector so I can verify everything works. And as you can hear, it's starting to work already. So now we assemble this. So, there we have it. So, as in faith of the original video from Xbox, I've adjusted my Sony PlayStation 3 and let's see what we can come up with. But yeah, that's it. Have fun. Make your own. Have fun with it. Maybe go record a metro or something. <laughs>